Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to send Litecoin using your Litecoin Core wallet. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to exchange Bitcoin for Litecoin. So the way we do that is on Exodus. So let's jump into that. This is the Exodus wallet. If you have not yet downloaded one yet, go check out my previous videos on how to set up an Exodus wallet. And once you're on the Exodus wallet, what you're going to do is go straight to the exchange here. And what we want to do here on the exchange is go to the top right here where it says receive. And we're going to look for the Litecoin option which is right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And as far as what you can exchange it for, you could actually choose anything. It doesn't have to be Bitcoin specifically. If you look at my account right here, I have over $100 in Ethereum and I have over $100 in Bitcoin Cash because I was doing tutorials for those beforehand. If you look down here for Bitcoin, I have $33. So what I want to do for this video is $100 send and receive videos. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this Ethereum option up here, which says I have $104 in. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to convert all of it and the $104 will convert into $101. So that's fine with me. I'm just going to go ahead and click exchange here. My exchange is now in progress and it says it'll take less than 30 minutes for the Litecoin to arrive. And it says that I could quit Exodus if I want to. So that's fine with me. I can wait for that. If we go back to my wallet here and then find Litecoin, as you can see, there's nothing in the wallet yet. It's actually preferred that you exit out of it. If you look at the top left of my screen here, I'm going to go ahead and click Exodus and just quit it. So what I'm going to do now is just open that in 30 minutes. For now, pause the video, come back to it. Once you've exchanged your cryptocurrency, such as Bitcoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash into Litecoin. And then once that happens, go ahead and continue the video so that you could continue following along with me. So great. It actually happened a lot sooner than I thought. It took a few minutes instead of 30 minutes. So that's good. That means we'll move on to step number two here, which is to send the Litecoin to the Litecoin Core wallet now. And we will have to get the correct address from the account that we're sending it to. And the second part is that we're going to send a small test transaction first. So I'll show you how I do that. So what I'm going to do now is pop up my Litecoin core wallet for you. And this is what it looks like. Here's a warning. As soon as you open it, it says recent transactions may not be visible and therefore your wallet's balance might be incorrect. This information will be correct once your wallet has finished synchronizing with the Litecoin network as detailed below. And it says here, attempting to spend Litecoins that are affected by not yet displayed transactions will not be accepted by the network. And for my send and receive videos, I will have to wait for my Litecoin wallet to fully sync. I opened it recently and it's saying it's going to take about two hours to sync. So I will let that fully load before I actually send uh, Litecoins. I believe I could receive Litecoins. However, we're going to test that right now. So what I'm going to do here is click hide. And what I'm going to do now is on the top here, it says receive. And what it says here is use this form to request payments. All fields are optional. So it says the label is optional, the amount is optional, and the message is optional. All I would have to really do is click request payment. And it gives me the address right here. So that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy address right here where it says copy address. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to go back to my Exodus account and I'm going to send it. I'm going to paste my address that I just got 
into here. If you are sending Litecoin to yourself, you could get the Litecoin address yourself. However, if you're getting it from another person, that person will have to send you that Litecoin address via email or private messenger. So go get that address, put it into here. And then remember, you always want to send a test transaction first. And you do want to confirm that you are sending it to the right person. So click send here. And it's saying, are you sure you want to send? I'm going to say yes, send. And it says transaction is sent. So that's good. And without even looking at my Litecoin core wallet, I could actually just check the block explorer, which is step number three, is to verify the pending transaction on the block explorer. And the block explorer we're gonna use today is SoChain. I'll show you what that looks like. This is the website right here. It's chain.so slash LTC, which stands for Litecoin. And this is a secure website. It has a green padlock up here and it is a HTTPS website. So that's good. What I can do is actually paste that same address that I sent and click search. And this is what pops up. It says one transaction right here. And it's saying that it's unconfirmed. If you can read this right here, it says unconfirmed. So we will have to wait for that. So again, we're checking the block explorer to verify the transaction. And before it said that it was pending and now it does say it is confirmed. So that's good. It's not pending anymore. And there's a balance of 0 0.09 in here. If you actually check the wallet, you'll notice that there's nothing in here yet. And that's just because it's still syncing up with the network. If I look at the process right here, it's saying it's going to take over three hours. So that's a good tip for you guys to take home is if you plan on sending and receiving using these wallets, make sure you have them up and running beforehand so that you could have a smooth, you know, process as far as sending and receiving goes. But now I know, so I'll do that for future videos. As far as what I'll do now, I'll go ahead and let it sync and then I'll come back to the video once it's done syncing up. Okay, we're back. So it did take several of hours to sync up. So you definitely want to upload your Litecoin wallet before you intend receiving or sending Litecoin using this wallet. So, you know, do it the night before or, you know, just do it ahead of time. So great, um, at this point, uh, we can confirm that we did receive the transaction and we can also check on the blockchain. If you recall earlier, this is the block explorer we're using, which is called uh, SoChain. I'm going to refresh this page here and wait for that to load. And there it is. So I can confirm it. So without even looking at the wallet, I can confirm that it actually sent because it said that 0 0.09 was received. And I can verify that by looking at my own wallet, right? So that's sent, so that's great. So we're moving on to step number five now, which is to send the rest of the Litecoin to the Litecoin core wallet. And it says here, first verify that the recipient received the transaction. So I'm using my own account, so I know that I received it, but if you're sending it to someone else, you do want to get the confirmation from them that they received the test transaction first. And if needed, you could whitelist their address, which means saving their address, knowing that you could send to that address more Litecoin in the future, and you don't have to send a test transaction anymore. So great, let's send the rest of the Litecoin here. I'm gonna go back to Exodus, and I'm gonna go to the wallet here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click send here. I'm gonna go back to the wallet and click receive. What I could do is click request payment, and I'll just click copy address right here and go back to this wallet and paste it into the Exodus right here. And then what I'm gonna do is just click all because I wanna send the rest of the Litecoin and I'll just go ahead and click send. 
and it says, are you sure you want to send the $96? I'm going to say yes, send. And it's sent. And if we look on our account here, it looks like it's actually pending. So great. It looks like uh, it's pending right here. It says pending. So 1.76 is pending. And the total that I have in here is 1.8 Litecoin, which should be about $100 or more. So that's great. It's almost available. And uh, I know it's about to process soon. So while it's pending, I'll show you something right here. But you could click receive here. And then you could click on this address that we just chose. And then we could copy this address and go back to the block explorer. We could search that address and click search. And it's saying that there's one transaction right here and it's still unconfirmed. So we're gonna have to wait for that to confirm before we move on to the next step. Okay, great. So it did confirm just now and it seems like it took about a few minutes or so to confirm. So I could refresh this and yeah, it confirmed. It says it right here, confirmed. And if I check back on the wallet here, it says that the available Litecoin now is 1.8. If you look at the recent transactions, it sent the 1.7. So that's perfect. So that means we can move on to step number six here, which is to send the Litecoin from your Litecoin core wallet to a Litecoin address. And I'm doing this just for demonstration purposes so that you know how to send Litecoin whenever you want to use this wallet. But now that you have actual funds in this wallet, we're going to click the send button right here. And we're going to get a Litecoin address to put into here. And then we're going to use the available balance. So on the right here, it says use available balance. It auto fills it for us and we could click send. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go to my Exodus account here. And instead of sending this time, I'm going to click receive and I'm going to copy and paste this address. And I'm going to go to the Litecoin core wallet and paste that address into here. And what I could do is uh, I could even send a test transaction first. So I could even send the 0 0.092 Litecoin first. If you recall on the right side here on the Exodus account, that's the test transaction that I sent last time. So I could even do that just to verify that I send it to the right wallet. Another thing you do is check the last digits on this address, which say 2DTVQE. And if I click receive here, it says 2DTVQE. So that's good. I'll show you what a test transaction looks like. So I could even put a label here. So I could put, for example, a test transaction. And I'll keep the fee uh, as is, and then I'll just go ahead and click send. And it says, are you sure you want to send? And it's telling me the fee. I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. And if I go back to the overview, it says it minus the test transaction. As you can see, it instantly sends the Litecoin from the Litecoin core wallet to the Litecoin wallet on Exodus almost instantly. So there's $5 here. What I can do now is do the same thing. So I could go click send. I could put the address that I want to send into here, which is the same address. And then I'll just click use available funds to send the rest of the Litecoin right here. And then I'll just click send. And I'll wait for that to process. And then I'll click yes. And that sound that you hear is my Exodus account receiving money. So there you go. My Exodus account now has $101 and my Litecoin core wallet has a zero balance again. So great, we did step number six here, which was to send the Litecoin from the Litecoin core wallet to a Litecoin address. And then we sent a test transaction first and then we sent the rest. In this video, I am not talking about how to receive Litecoin. I'll save that for the next video. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to uh, do step number six here, which was to send Litecoin 
from your Litecoin core wallet to a Litecoin address. It's really simple and I took you through all the steps that I do to do that properly. And that concludes this video. If you like watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. You could also get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. Go check out the display address here on the screen or check out the links below. You could also follow our cryptocurrency market team on Twitter. My social handle is Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching this blockchain tutorial on how to send Litecoin using your Litecoin core wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, let me know on Twitter. Thanks again, have a terrific day, and I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.